Hey Betty, just wanted to take a quick video for you to show you what I found up here. Um, so it's no coincidence that all of these stains that you're having front doors just under us right here are you have the soffited area and then basically from the length of that soffited area to this chimney are about the same. So on the interior wall, somewhere right around in here, okay, and the flashing, you can see that this flashing is rusted and uh, I'm pretty confident that's what's going on because there's simply nowhere else it can be coming from the water. Um, your chimney cap is tight. I did check that. It's anchored in all four corners on the top, so it's not getting in from up there. You do have some surface rust, but um, you know it can wait about as long as the roof until we need to put a new one on. But what I did see that caught my eye was that there is this piece of kick-out metal. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a huge void right here. I'll take this leaf and I can literally stick it into that hole. Um, that's not that's not good. So the only thing I can see in the way of a repair that needs to be done here to encompass these leaks that are going on here is that this chimney needs to be reflashed because there's just simply nowhere else the water can be coming from. Um, and then obviously we're going to need to replace all of these shingles that have nail holes through them. Um, and then the boots that are not installed properly. So that's what I'm leaning towards right now because simply I don't see anywhere else, you know, that the water can be coming in from. I feel strongly that it's coming in from right here and it's traveling. It's traveling downhill that way. And um, that's got to be it. So hopefully you're on the same page and hope this video helps. Thank you.